Friendship Circle LA to interview the owner of this amazing organization. This organization provides children with special needs a full range of social, recreational, educational, and Jewish experiences. They also provide parents with support and get volunteers from the LA community involved. Let's get inside scoop on the positive impact they are making so that all families with special needs are accepted and included. This is Lee Dor interviewing the owner of this organization, Rabbi Mickey Rob Murray. Hello. Yes, absolutely. Go ahead and ask your questions. What is the purpose of the organization? Okay, the purpose of the Friendship Circle is to provide friendship for children who have special needs. They, um, special needs, do you know what special needs are? Yes. Of course. So it's kids who maybe have autism or Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, <coughs> sometimes even have such severe learning disabilities that it gets in the way of their ability to have friends. So what we do is we provide them with friends by having volunteers, most of them are teenagers, who visit them at home or help them at our different programs. How many years has this program existed? Friendship Circle is now in its 15th year we started in 2003. What is the purpose, I mean, what motivated or inspired you to start this program? That is a great question. That's a very, very interesting one. So, <clears throat> it's interesting, it's actually two things. One, is that I personally always had, um, as we say, a knack for working, and an affinity for working with special needs people. Growing up, there was a uh, there was a boy who has Down syndrome who lived around the corner from me, and he um, came to my house. He used to come and he used to like he was your friend. Yeah, he was like a friend, you know. He used to come, say hello, this that. He was my friend's brother. And after spending some time with him, his name was Hillel, but they call him Hilkey. After spending some time with him, I came to the conclusion. He was like, you know, he looks different. You know, maybe he sticks out his tongue and. But he is a human being like anybody else. He is a great kid. And I made, I came to a conclusion in my mind. I said, whoa, special needs people are human beings just like you and me. They might have other issues such as understanding things or being able to move in certain ways, whatever it is. But they love to laugh. They love to sing. They love to have friends. And that realization <coughs> really motivated me and inspired me to work with this population because I felt that not enough was being done. How is the organization funded? Okay, so that's a great question. Um, we have a budget that's already about close to $900,000 a year. Wow. That's probably more than your allowance, right? And... Um, so we have to raise that money every year because we have nine people on staff and that's in addition to the, probably another 10 people who come and go like teachers, behaviorists, group leaders and so on, you know? So the way that we raise, raise money for the organization is about four ways. One, we ask people for donations. People donate and they get a, what's called a tax deduction, it helps them with their taxes, and they do tzedakah, charity. Another way that we do it is we write grants. Grants is basically like certain organizations have already money set aside to give for charity, but you have to send in like a report, like a proposal, to show what you're doing, and they, they support you. We get a bunch of grants, most of our grants are from the Jewish Federation. But we get from other places too. I'm here at Friendship Circle LA to volunteer and help these autism kids. Now, there are a few levels of autism. There's 
low function, medium function, and high function. Low function, low function is when like you can't really talk and it's really hard to like um, work your body and your brain is all mixed up. But there are some autism kids that have low, that are low functioned that are very good at writing. So they write um, their, the stuff that they want to say on the iPad and then they, they um, record it so then the people could hear what the autism kids want to say. Now, the second one is medium function. Medium function is like when you could talk like a little bit and your brain is like, okay. And you could, and it's not really bad. So I know a kid named Liam who has autism. Um, he's a medium function. And sometimes they make a little bit of mistakes, but they're still very fun to play with and teach. The last one is um, high function. Right now, my sister Shear is high function. She uh, she could talk. She's very smart, and she just has a few problems. She's just she has a lot of stress. She thinks she's gonna fail a lot, and it's just like she she thinks she's gonna throw up. She thinks she has a lot of problems, but she's still a very smart girl and knows how to talk, and she isn't like that bad. It's not really bad. So thank you all for watching me do a presentation on low function, high function, and mega function. Hi Lindor. What are you doing this station? This is an art station when you have to tell it's a you have to make this butterfly, it's 3D butterfly. Can you see and you, can you see? Yes. Here's one butterfly that my sister made, um, and, and what's I, your job here? my job is to uh, tell them how to make it and to remind them to write their name on the back, and to tell them how it works and how to make it. So you have a very busy patient. Good luck.